Ever since Disney bought Star Wars, I've been in a constant state of healing my own trauma. And what better way to do that than through music? So today, I am going to be making the soundtrack to healing. Now, I didn't know really a lot about this, but luckily, one of my best friends on earth happens to be the most fire yoga influencer slash teacher on planet earth. So I have a very special assignment from Banana Blondie. Okay, what I would love from you, Sean, is for you to make me some yoga music to go in the background of my yoga classes. Now, I'm currently creating some chakra-based classes, and now each chakra is associated with a key or a note. So the next one I'm doing is the sacral chakra, or your second chakra, and that's associated with the key D. So it would have to be in the key of D, and it might be helpful to know a little bit about the sacral chakra as you're creating this music. Now, the sacral chakra is associated with physical health, it's associated with creativity, it's associated with love, with intimacy, with sexuality, you know, intimacy. Maybe maybe you could use a little help in your sacral chakra area. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe this class is for you, Sean, but uh, let me see what you got. I definitely appreciate how she insinuated that my love life needs a lot of help. She doesn't know how easy this is gonna be because this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. I'm using an Arturia plugin called Augmented Strings. It is only $99. You can also get this cool controller for $99. I'm also gonna be using uh, the bigger 88 key one to kind of do this. So the sacral chakra is in the key of D major, all right? So basically the chords would be D major, E minor, F sharp, minor, G, major, A, major, B, minor, and then C sharp, half diminish, back to D, all right? As you can hear, it's already kind of done. This augmented swing thing is like amazing, right? You could just really jam on this. For probably 45 minutes, okay? Uh, they've done a really cool job sampling this. I'm not going to tell her how easy this is, and she probably won't watch this video. So we're going to charge her top dollar for me just running through some very, very simple plugins. I'm just going to go one to four. So D major to G major seven through different inversions to keep it up. So I'm going to track it live. I'm not just going to loop it like a chump. I'm just going to run through pretty much all my D major to G major inversions. What that means is, you know, maybe I'll start with like a D major seven and then go to like an F, like a third inversion of G major seven, something like that. Now, if you see this, the, the, there's so many different things you could do. Like uh, this one specifically has like a morph function where you could do this. And the morph function kind of adds like a textured noise, which I'm gonna actually back off because even though that sounds cool for maybe like a, you know, like an edgy indie production, this one's gonna be super clean. And I'm really gonna kind of try to keep it to just these inversions, all right? So anyways, uh, I'm just gonna use this as the basis for the entire track. And then we're gonna talk about how to kind of make it more interesting because again, this is a long track. A lot of these like ambient music, yoga type things end up being like, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes long. So we're gonna talk about how to make it more interesting even though we just have kind of like a solid bed, not a loop, cycling through inversions, just to kind of run with it. All right, so let's track it. Welcome, I am Tallulah Moon. Like so many people requested my morning routine, so here it is. I always start my day with detoxifying lemon water and a plastic straw because paper straws kill trees. And then I like to journal in my gratitude journal about my gratitude journey and how grateful I am for my gratitude journal. Another thing I want to mention is that I'm doing this at 60 beats a minute, which is my resting heart rate and that of an elite, elite athlete. Sometimes I get it down to 57, no big deal. But uh, I'm also going to have to do a lot of research on Banana Blondie's Instagram page just to kind of get inspired for my, my sacral chakra Chakra or chakra? I think it's chakra. Chakra sounds, <laughs> doesn't sound classy like chakra. So we're just gonna kind of put this over some uh, Banana Bunny Instagram reels as well. All right, so I found another patch on augmented strings and I like it because it kind of has a little bit of a higher end thing. 
The issue is, as soon as you let go, as you may have just heard there, the decay, the release is like instantaneous. So what's really cool here is you can actually affect the reverb with this knob here. So again, if I just do like a D, if I crank that reverb up, the decay kind of lasts, right? Uh. So what I'm gonna do now is because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the different effects in the first part of that uh, track that we just laid down with the two chords, you could hear at the beginning. You can hear the first half of the bar, all the actions going on, then it's just sustain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just play this one in kind of the space of that sustain to kind of keep it going. All right, so there's the G, and then I get to the D. So there's the first part of the D. As soon as the sustain goes. Next up, we are adding my favorite Arturia plugin. It is their CS80. They just came out with a new version for it, an updated version in their new instrument collection, which is the best deal in plugin software money that you could ever spend is on that entire collection. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna just track some CS80 stuff. So good. All right, so here's like a D major. Like the, I have the perfect synth strings patch, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the triad below and then kind of extend it. So I'm just gonna play the extended chords on here, right? So what that means if a D major seven is a D, F sharp, A, C sharp, I'm gonna leave that root note out and just get the F sharp, A, and C sharp. So this would technically be an F sharp minor chord, but since this is gonna be down more and we're gonna hear more of the root note in the track, it'll kind of combine to make something a little better, right? Now, I wanna make this sound bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the Arturia Reverb Intensity, have it on the infinity setting, crank up that, see how much wider and like bigger it sounds? It's so, it's so, it's so good, right? Has a lot of movement and a lot of vibe. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of all the Arturia stuff. So uh, if you did, if you had to just pick two things for ambient music, just get the controller right here, 100 bucks. CS80 and augmented strings, 100 bucks, and you're, you're good to go. And uh, you can just start making ambient music to your, to your heart's desire. So let's track some of those strings now. Another way that we're going to use an effect to make it more interesting throughout the duration is by adding a filter on it. I think that filters are one of the most underused plugins for just creating a vibe that you can do. So we're going to load up the Arturia Filter SEM plugin, right? And here I'll play just kind of some stuff for you with and without it. So right now I have this filter set to just a light phaser, okay? So it's adding a little more movement to it. You can like boost the red. There's a lot of different things that you can do. I'm gonna boost the filter out just so you can kind of hear it a little better. And there's the sequencer, right? So it's just, it's a little bit more movement. There's without it. See how it just kind of opens it up, makes it a little more interesting. What track wouldn't be complete without a little bit of guitar? So here's the thing. A lot of this stuff I feel like needs rhythm, but a percussion track I think can almost kind of make it too jarring and like too much of a groove. So again, I'm just, I'm going through all the Arturia stuff. Not only because this video is sponsored, mostly because this video is sponsored, but because it's the best stuff in the business. So I've got this, uh, 
their op amp 21, right? So I'm just going direct in, no amp. All right, but that kind of really, really warms it up. So it's not just like a, a dead DI signal. And then you've got the delay eternity, ping pong delay that they have. And then if you just have like a rhythmic. The ping pong delay, it's in stereo, kind of adds an effect as if it's like a rhythmic track, okay? So we're gonna just kind of add that to what we have going on right now. What do you say? So I'm going to take you out just doing some of the live guitar stuff. I love it. Uh, we're just going to do this. Definitely show Banana Blondie some love. Get yourself this Arturia plug-in and the keyboard because, again, incredible value. Just the amount of tools that you can have at your disposal for under like $200 is, is amazing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And let's just chill out, make some music soothe some of those uh some of those troubled minds out there and let's just rock it out